Well, welcome back to Whiskey. I'm Josh, <laughs> and today we're drinking a whiskey. They don't get intros. Hi, Eric. I'm Keith. You know what it is. We don't. Let's go ahead and figure out what it is. And once again, I've got it on my, f- my fingers. Fruity? I think I know what this is. <laughs> like what the bottle is? I think I know where it's from. I'll say cherry, brown sugar, oak. What does that tell you? A little bit of you? vanilla. Yeah. What does that tell you? That we're probably about to be completely wrong. <laughs> I can drive there. Ooh, is that good? Good. That's an oaky tannin. That's very oak forward. That's very oak forward. Gosh. That's very oak forward. Yeah, very oak forward. Very tannic in a good way. And sweet. Mm-hmm. It's like sweet wood. But man, does that spice linger. It's a very oak spice for it. Like, I don't get on the palate, I don't get as much of the rest of the flavors. And I, I, do, I get them like all like, jumbled together into what, a what blob. Do, what do you mean? On the palate. Yeah. All the flavors. Yeah. I'm mostly getting the tannic and the oak. And everything else is kind of like all like smushed together in a blob. Yeah, okay. I can't really dissect it. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I couldn't process what you said the first time. And I just got cola in the last one. I think I'm getting a slight bit of cola this one. Not nearly as much, though. I got cherry cola. Cherry, definitely. Cola. A little bit, maybe. I'm adding some water. But cherry, not wild cherry. Yeah, no, not wild cherry. I'm getting, like, watermelon. I can see that. Like, have you ever had watermelon Pepsi? No. Uh, maybe it was Japan only thing. It's salted watermelon Pepsi. What? Salted watermelon Pepsi. That sounds delicious. It was clear. That sounds wrong. <laughs> it was like Pepsi Crystal, but... Salted watermelon. Ooh. It actually dies down the, the tannicness a little bit. Yeah. Which is strange. Usually usually the tannicness like rises up when we add water. It brings a lot more of that sweetness in. Yeah, it's more like cherry, brown sugar, mm. less oak. I am not upset at this. So far. Yeah, we'll see what the price is. It's good. All right, we're going to move on to ratings. We're talking about the nose palette and finish on a scale of zero to five. My ratings are pretty easy. I'm giving it threes across the board. It's solid. I like everything, every note I got. It's not exceptional. I just want something exceptional. I couldn't agree with you more. Threes across the board. Nose was okay. Palette was okay. Finish was okay. Nothing to write home about. I'm looking for something to blow my mind away. Like, it's a good whiskey. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's solid. very solid. It's like- At the right price point, this is a, I will go buy it. At the wrong price point, this is a, I will miss it every time. Well, uh, mine is pretty easy too. It was going to be 3.5 across the board. I think it's solid. I think this is, again, yeah. going to be a good a good cocktail whiskey, though, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, especially more in a bourbon forward. Yeah, this is sorry, like an whiskey, old-fashioned. Whiskey, whiskey forward. A whiskey forward cocktail. This is a good, like, old-fashioned. Whiskey sour. Jewel, whiskey sour, where the whiskey is the main. Manhattan. Yeah. We're going to move on to guesses. We're going to guess what kind of whiskey we think this is, what we think the proof is, what we think the retail price is, and we'll tell you how much we're willing to pay to get this bottle off <laughs> If we didn't shelf. drop enough hints as to what we think it is. This is an 86 proof bourbon. I'm going $20. I would easily pay $20 for this. This is an 86 proof bourbon. I'm going $20. I would gladly pay $20 for this. I'm going to go 90 proof bourbon. I'd pay 20. I think it's just for $20. I'd pay $20. Joyce, can you tell our viewers at home what we drank today? Today you were drinking Green River Bourbon. Green River Bourbon is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey from the Green River Distilling Company in Owensboro, Kentucky. It is made with a mash bill of 70% corn, 21 winter rye, and 9% malted barley. It was founded in 1885 by John W. McCulloch and named after the nearby Green River. This bottle comes in at 90 proof and has been aged for more than five years. We paid the average retail price of $35. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy. Today we drank Green River Kentucky Straight Bourbon. I thought it had a round back end and a flat front end. Because <laughs> I grabbed the bottle and was like, that felt weird. It's a horseshoe. <gasps> So, okay. I love it. It retails for $35. Jeez. Mm. Mm. It's a horseshoe bottle. I know. That's <laughs> that's the only thing. It's like, okay, it, the bottle's really cool. Real quick, let's give our opinions about this. $35? Mm, I don't think so. No. no. I think with the bottle, though, that might bump. Put it to 25 yeah, I was going to say, well, it might bump me to 25 I, I would go $28 for this bottle. I haven't even told you the best part that's about this bottle yet. Okay. So because of the horseshoe, uh huh, there's a little slit right down here at the bottom of the base of the bottle. Uh-huh. Yeah. It is a built-in bar game. You take a quarter, and you try to slide it in there. Like, flick it in there. $29. <laughs> for a horseshoe-shaped bottle no. with a built-in bar game? Yes. 
It's also non-chill filtered. Um, this company, Green River, they were actually a big sourcer for a lot of whiskey. Like a lot of companies, they would source their whiskey from Green River. They just got bought by, I believe it was Bardstown Bourbon Company. And as soon as they did, they released a, a new bottling or like new line essentially. And where'd you get it? I got it in Ohio because Pennsylvania does not release stuff on time. I got Ohio. I expect the PA will get it eventually, but Ohio got it more quickly. But $35, we paid $35. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a nice look. I'm bottle. not paying $35 for that. That's what we thought of that bottle. Let us know in the comments what you thought since this is a fairly recent bottle and it's getting a lot of hype right now. Let us know what you think down below. Um, I know people are more interested in the weeded version, so we'll talk about that someday, maybe. Um, and until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, this, this drinks, drinks on me. me.